we check out softball. Can Nequa Valley make it a three-peat as DVC champions? I give you a closer look at what teams will be making noise in the spring. The Nequa Valley Wildcats were a force to be reckoned with in 2022. They were DVC and regional champions for the second straight year and made it all the way to a sectional final. Unfortunately, they came up one run short against West Aurora. The Cats' amazing senior class that included all state performers like Hannah Meeks and Maya Clifford will not be back this year, which means an almost entirely different varsity roster and plenty of big shoes to fill. However, head coach Danny Esquini still has some key returnees who are ready to make a major impact. One is Izzy Ernest. She was all conference last year for us, third baseman, uh, pitches a little bit for us as well. And she's bringing that experience back to the diamond, that leadership, positive attitude. We also have Natalie Leacani, who's coming back from last year. She's an outfielder for us. Once again, that experience from that varsity diamond she's bringing back. The team will also be returning Trista Werner, Nadia Casanova, and Ava Dries, who picked up a bit of experience on varsity last season. All of them will be getting even more opportunities on the field this season. Even though positions and lineups have yet to be set, Coach Esquini says they're putting the puzzle pieces together and that the girls are excited and motivated for this season. We'll see if NV can continue its strong run of success in the DVC. Bennett Academy was another team that performed well last season. The Red Wings were one of the better teams in the ESCC and took home a regional championship in Class 3A. However, like Nequa, they were knocked out in their sectional final, this time by St. Ignatius. The Wings will have to replace multiple talented seniors from 2022 in All-State selection Grace Fajardo, Elena Burdeka, Sammy Schilf, who committed to North Central, Sam Akitka, who signed with St. Mary's College, and many others. They will still have some key players back with names like Nina Pasari and Taylor Sconza. Bennett hopes to continue the momentum of recent seasons, take another step this season, and work their way to the top of the ESCC. Nequa wasn't the only squad making noise in the DVC. Naperville North proved to be elite as well, finishing just behind the Wildcats in the standings last year. The Blue and Orange won a team record 26 games and also secured a regional plaque for the first time since 2012 with a victory over their crosstown rival Naperville Central. The Huskies moved on to the sectional semifinal but fell to the DVC champs in a shutout. Five seniors depart the program including All-State first baseman Kendall Ketziora. However, they get multiple key players back like Shayna Woolwine, Olivia Hebron, Christina Donaldson, and reigning DVC Pitcher of the Year Charlotte Chelich, the All-State hurler who is already committed to Truman State. She and the Huskies look to finally dethrone Nequa Valley and make a deeper run in the postseason. The Matia Valley Mustangs are looking to take a big leap in 2023. They come off a season in which they struggled against non-conference opponents, but were a tough out in the DVC, finishing in third place behind North and Nequa. Like the Huskies, the Mustangs were also eliminated by Nequa Valley in the postseason. Despite the early exit, their efforts and head coach Michaela Paprota's first season provide hope for the program. Key players Nia Lewis and pitcher Nevea Cruz graduated, but Matia will bring back multiple contributors going into this season. So we are returning 10 players from last year, and then we've added um, three additional. Um, all of them have been in the program for at least one year, so we have a lot of experience. We're also returning two all-conference players, um, Reese and Riley O'Neill. It's a new season, and that's what I keep telling them of um, just they need to come every day with more energy, more leadership, and just ready to go. The Mustangs will have Genevieve Gonzalez returning along with seniors Michelle Hess and Macy Martin. Coach Paprota was pleased with her team's performance in 2022, and she says the girls are pumped to show the DVC what they've got this season. Wabonzi Valley had yet another difficult year in 2022. It was their sixth straight losing season, and the struggles carried into DVC play. They did pick up an impressive win over Naperville North in the middle of the season, but the good times were few and far between as their season ended in the regional semifinal, losing to West Aurora. The Warriors lose six seniors from last year's team, including Allison Kepler. The good news is that top hitter Hannah Laub, who missed the final month of 2022 with a knee injury and received surgery back in June, will return to the Diamond, along with seniors Mackenzie Ondrachak and Anna Riggs, along with junior Gia Cobert. It will be a young roster heading into the 2023 campaign, but with their veteran leaders and a healthy Laub, the Warriors have the pieces to make some noise in the DVC. The Naperville Central Redhawks also went through a trying season last year. After losing a lot of the roster from 2021, they too had a losing record and could never find their footing against conference opponents. 
The team did go through a nice stretch late in April in 2022, but still finished near the bottom in the DVC. Central did pick up a postseason win, advancing to the regional final to face Naperville North, but as mentioned in the Huskies preview, the Red Hawks were unable to get past their arch rivals. Annie Saran is among three seniors who have left the program. However, head coach Andy Nussbaum does return players like Courtney Fournier, Jamie Saran, Sidney Hurst, Luca Sealing, Julia Nicholas, and Kendall Lentz, who committed to the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire back in July. With a blend of young and veteran talent, it will be no surprise to see the Red Hawks bounce back to their winning ways this season.